Welcome to the module describing the operation and uses for GigaSmart application session filtering. In this module, you will learn about a use case for application session filtering, ASF. After completing this module, you should be able to describe the challenges with current traffic complexity and the need for session filtering. Describe the purpose of ASF. Describe the differences between flow mapping, adaptive packet filtering, and application session filtering. Describe the differences between ASF with buffering and without buffering. Describe one of the important applications for ASF. Security and monitoring appliances look at session and application layer data for patterns, also called signatures. They search for these patterns across huge volumes of real-world traffic. This process is extremely cumbersome, as every packet would need to be searched for hundreds and sometimes thousands of patterns. There is a need for the ability to extract relevant flows of interest that match specific patterns or applications and forward them to tools that need this data. For instance, an email security appliance may only be interested in email traffic and, even more specifically, email traffic with suspicious links and attachments. Likewise, with significant volumes of enterprise traffic being voice or video, it may be prudent to prevent sending them to certain security and monitoring applications. What is needed is a methodology to extract specific flows belonging to an application or a pattern of interest and forward them to appliances that are looking for that data. Moreover, it is not enough to send or filter individual packets, but the entire application session. To properly identify and analyze threats, security tools often need visibility into the entire session, from session initialization to session termination. Failing to provide all of the packets in that session will result in errors and uninspected traffic. As its name suggests, the GigaSmart Application Session Filtering ASF, feature provides a means to match on a unique characteristic within a packet stream, and then send packets from the same session which appears before and after the packet containing a unique matching characteristic. Sometimes described as SIN to FIN, ASF is able to buffer the initial connection setup packets while waiting to match on a specific unique characteristic. When a match takes place, the buffered packets are forwarded, and then any additional packets for the same session can be forwarded until the session expires. This behavior is needed for some types of performance monitoring and or security tools that are unable to properly analyze behavior if the connection setup is absent. For tools which only need transactions and not the connection setup, an unbuffered ASF behavior is available. When unbuffered operation is specified, non-matching traffic is discarded until a match takes place. Upon matching, that packet and all subsequent packets can be forwarded until the session expires. Understanding when to use one type of traffic selection rules over another comes down to knowing what sort of traffic your tools require in order to perform best. Basic flow mapping performs matching on fields available in a standard Ethernet header. Or a user-defined attribute can be defined to match on custom protocols or fields. Matching takes place in hardware at wire speed in physical GigaView nodes. Any matching packet is forwarded or dropped as specified. This technique is perfect for sending all traffic for an application type, such as all web traffic or all traffic from a selected subnet. More advanced choices are available from the GigaSmart Advanced Packet Filtering, or APF, feature. Using APF, you can match on outer fields like basic flow mapping does, but also on encapsulated or tunneled inner packet header fields. The available range of fields is much broader than for basic flow mapping. For even greater flexibility, you can specify a regular expression as the match criteria, which can be set to match at a particular location or to search anywhere throughout the entire packet. As before, any matching packet is forwarded or dropped as specified. This is perfect for sending all traffic for an application type, such as all web traffic, or all traffic for a selected VLAN, VXLAN, or tunneled subnet. Leveraging APF functionality, the buffered GigaSmart Application Session Filtering, or ASF feature, supports forwarding of the session setup packets, which were seen up to 20 packets prior to the match, followed by forwarding all subsequent packets for the same session. Alternatively, ASF can be set to unbuffered, where all packets starting with a match are forwarded, but non-matching packets are discarded while waiting for the match to take place. Whether buffered or unbuffered, the ASF technique is able to include more than just those packets which match a defined rule. The ability to forward an entire transaction or an entire session is critical to proper interpretation by performance monitoring and security tools alike. 
Some tools require the connection setup information. Others are able to operate with transactions. The related ability to discard streaming media or other high volume but uninteresting sessions can greatly improve the performance of tools doing deep packet inspection. Several of the many use cases for application session filtering. Application session filtering is an ideal way to optimize the deep packet inspection task for your tools. Relying upon session awareness, ASF is able to focus on a subset of similar traffic. Most viruses and malware exist in data types that use a much smaller amount of traffic. When a security tool has to check streaming content, such as video, in addition to looking for malicious code, it can easily become oversubscribed for little additional benefit. For example, a lot of streaming media is found within web traffic. Using application session filtering features, it is possible to selectively include or exclude entire streaming media sessions based on characteristics found either in the connection setup or in one of the early packets in the session. In many situations, it is only useful to track the quantity of streaming media without actually performing deep packet inspection on it. Non-streaming media web traffic represents a higher risk or a higher requirement for business critical performance and is usually subject to greater scrutiny. ASF is able to either drop or redirect streaming media to a different tool and thereby preserve valuable deep packet inspection cycles for higher value traffic. A second example category of uses for the application session filtering feature is in discriminating between different types of similar traffic. Email is a mainstay of almost any organization today, but the threat profile for attachments is much different than that of the message itself. The ability to send attachments to a different email security tool for specialized inspection optimizes mail handling at the same time as it supports higher levels of security for greater risk traffic. Another type of traffic which can represent a notable volume of traffic is the regularly appearing Windows updates and patches. This background traffic has the potential to interfere with business critical application and security monitoring as it loads itself on all Windows platforms in the organization in the background. Like with streaming media, other than monitoring the time of day for updates and the origin and volume of this traffic, deep packet inspection for application performance or security purposes is not often a critical concern. ASF is able to either drop or redirect this sort of system maintenance traffic, again preserving deep packet inspection cycles for higher value traffic. The rapidly increasing challenges for security and security tools mean that tool specialization is needed. Sending appropriate traffic to each type of tool requires great flexibility coupled with great precision. The application session filtering feature available through the GigaSecure suite of features allows precise control of which traffic is sent to each security tool based on sophisticated content matching, thereby ensuring that security solutions are focused on the traffic which is most relevant to them. Additional details can be found in the ASF configuration module the CLI, HView, and GigaView FM training modules, user guides, and product data sheets. In this module, you have explored application session filtering and some of its applications. You are now able to describe the challenges with current traffic complexity and the need for session filtering. Describe the purpose of ASF. Describe the differences between flow mapping, adaptive packet filtering, and application session filtering. Describe the differences between ASF with buffering and without buffering. Describe one of the important applications for ASF. This completes the GigaSmart Application Session Filtering Use Case Module. Thank you.